The following list contains the names of different examples of waves. Gamma rays, infrared, radio waves, microwaves, sound, visible light, x-rays. A. Which one of those is not a type of electromagnetic waves? B. State the nature of the wave you have named in A. C. The remaining names in the list are all regions of the electromagnetic spectrum, but one region is missing. Name the missing region. Most of the questions in this lesson, like dispersion, are direct and to the point. The electromagnetic spectrum contains different waves. If we start in the middle with the visible light, you also have ultraviolet and infrared. Waves that are higher frequency than ultraviolet are X-rays and gamma rays. Waves of lower frequency than infrared are microwaves and radio waves. These are the parts of electromagnetic spectrum that we have studied in our lesson. All these waves have the same speed of light in vacuum, which is 3 times 10 power 8 meters per second. This also equals 300,000 kilometers per second. As you go from radio to gamma, the frequency increases. As you go in the opposite direction from gamma to radio, the wavelength increases and of course the frequency decreases. You must know this and be able to answer all questions about this. You also must know uses and harms of these waves. Let's go back to our direct questions. A. Which one of these is not a type of electromagnetic waves? Of course, it's sound. Sound is not an electromagnetic wave. B. State the nature of the wave you have named in A. This part belongs to sound waves. Sound waves are mechanical longitudinal waves. C. The remaining names in the list are all regions of the electromagnetic spectrum, but one region is missing. Name the missing region. That's why you need to memorize the parts of the electromagnetic spectrum, and you will see that the only part that is missing from above is ultraviolet. Let's see three more questions. D. Give one use of infrared radiation. E. State the speed of microwaves in air. F. Give an example of an electromagnetic wave that has higher frequency than X-rays. The more important that you answer these three questions is to realize what you have to do. So let's see question D. He wants a use of infrared radiation. Of course, if you study well, you will know that some uses of infrared radiations are night visions, remote controls, and ovens for cooking. But this is not the important thing I want you to know. It's clear from this question that you need to memorize the uses of all parts of electromagnetic spectrum. So, he may ask you about any one of these uses. Of course, in this question, he needs an only one use. Question E. State the speed of microwaves in air. Actually, we didn't study specifically what is the speed of microwaves in air, but we know that all parts of electromagnetic spectrum travel with the same speed in vacuum, 3 times 10 power 8 meters per second. This is not specific for microwaves. Question F. He wants an example of what is higher frequency than X-rays. Of course, gamma rays are higher frequency than x-rays. In this question, it's clear that you want to understand the order of electromagnetic waves in electromagnetic spectrum according to the increase or the decrease in frequency and wavelength. This is a simple and direct question. Each point for one mark, not more.